Hi guys, what's up Jason here and welcome back to another FIFA 18 video on my channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you my first FIFA 18 player rating predictions and the team I'm going to be doing is Tottenham. So starting off in the goalkeeper position for Tottenham, we have Hugo Lloris. So in the 2016-2017 season, he managed to keep 15 clean sheets out of 34 Premier League matches, what is honestly insane. And this puts him up with the best goalkeepers in the world. That's why I've decided to upgrade him by an overall rating of 1. So he's now going to be an 89 rated card. As well as this, I also gave him plus 2 diving, plus 1 handling, plus 2 kicking, plus 1 reflexes, plus 1 speed, plus 1 positioning. And I've also increased his weak foot from a 1 star to a 2 star. So hopefully in FIFA 18, he should be one of the best goalkeepers. So moving over to the right back position for Tottenham, we have Carl Walker. So on FIFA, this guy was by far the best right back on the game and in FIFA 18 I think he's going to get a huge upgrade to an 84 rated card with 91 pace, 76 dribbling, 65 shooting, 76 passing, 81 defending and 83 physical and just like this year he'll probably be the best if not the one of the best players on FIFA for his position so yeah hopefully EA will give him this card and he'll be one of the best players to put into your competitive and BPL squads. So the first Belgium centre-back we have from Tottenham is Toby Alderweireld. So in the 2016-2017 season, this guy helped Tottenham to keep 15 clean sheets in the Premier League and he's one of the main reasons they finished second. So he has now proved to be one of the best defenders in world football, so I wouldn't be surprised within the next few seasons if he does make a big move to one of the top European clubs such as Bayern Munich, Real Madrid or Barcelona. But for now he's staying at Tottenham and hoping that he can help Tottenham win the league next season. So moving over to Alderweireld's fellow countryman and teammate, we have Jan Vertonghen. So look at that card on the right, it looks honestly insane. And if he does manage to get that card, it will be one of the most well-rounded centre-back cards we have ever seen on FIFA. With 69 pace, 69 shooting, 71 passing, 70 dribbling, 84 defending and 82 physical. And as well as this, I've also decided to upgrade your skill moves from 2-star to 3-star. Because if you haven't seen already, if you're searching to YouTube Vertonghen skills, you can actually really good skills such as Around the World and Niyakas. So that's why I think his skill moves should go from 2 star to 3 star and as well I think he should be in plus 2 overall rating to now an 85 rated so Jan Vertonghen and Toby Alderweireld will be two of the best centre backs to link up with on FIFA 18. So in the left back position for Tottenham we do have Danny Rose. Every single season this guy seems to be developing more and more and has now become one of the best left backs in world football. It is actually rumoured though that Man United have put a £25 million bid in for him but hopefully he will stay at Tottenham and fulfil his potential. So moving on into the midfield, we have the Kenyan captain, Victor Wanyama. So last summer, this guy moved from Southampton to Tottenham and has now developed into a world-class central defensive midfield. He's also one of the strongest players in world football. That's why I've decided to give him 90 physical. So hopefully at the start of FIFA 18, he should be pretty cheap. So he'll be a great player to put into your start squads. So yet yeah, another Belgium Tottenham player is Moussa Dembele. So in the 2016-2017 season, this guy played more of a CDM role rather than centre mid. That's why I decided to convert his card from a centre mid to CDM. As well as this, I also took away his 4 star skill moves and downgraded him to 3 star skill moves. Because I've actually watched a quite a lot of Tottenham games this season and I haven't actually seen him do many skill moves. So as well as this, I've actually increased his weeks foot though from 2 star to 3 star. And I've also gave him a plus 1 overall rating, plus 2 pace, plus 3 shooting because he actually has pretty decent long shots plus three passing plus one dribbling plus five defending because you know now that he's moved more into a central defensive midfielder he needs you know higher defending than 73 and then we also gave him plus one physical so this guy looks like one of the most well-rounded players in FIFA 18 and we a great player to link up with players such as nine golden and the two Belgium center backs for Tottenham so moving over to the left mid position for Tottenham, we do have the Korean beast Hyung Min Sun. So in the 2016-2017 season, Sun was one of Tottenham's standout players, but it was actually rumoured at the start of the season that he may be going back to Leverkusen for £25 million because he wasn't getting much playtime, but Pochettino put his trust in Sun and decided to play him in a few matches and ever since then never looked back. Hyun started to provide goals and assists for the team and has now become a world-class left mid. So in FIFA 18, I do expect Son to get a big upgrade from a 79 rated to an 83 rated overall with the plus 3 pace, plus 2 shooting, plus 5 passing, plus 3 dribbling, plus 4 defending and plus 7 physical. And as well as this, I also do think he will have 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot. So this will make him one of the most overused and overpowered players on FIFA 18. 
So the next player we do have is my personal favourite and it is Christian Eriksen. This guy provided so many goals and assists for Tottenham this season and he's one of the main reasons why the next player you will see scored so many goals. So I definitely think he's proved to be a world class cam and one of the best players for his position. That's why I think he should be an 87 rated cam on FIFA 18 with 79 pace, 80 shooting, 87 passing, 87 dribbling, 50 defending and 62 physical. So I'm hoping that his card will be just as good as it was on FIFA 17 and he will definitely be my go-to cam for my Premier League teams. So last but certainly not least, we have Tottenham's main man, Harry Kane. So in the 2016-2017 season, again, this guy managed to score 25 plus goals in the Premier League. This is now the third season in a row he has done this, and I definitely think he has now proven that he's a world-class striker. That's why I've decided to give him a huge upgrade from an 85 rated to an 87 rated for FIFA 18, what includes plus five pace, plus two shooting, plus three passing, plus two dribbling, plus two defending, and plus two physical. And as well as this, I've also decided to upgrade his weak foot from a three star to a four star because in the 2016 2017 season he's actually managed to score a lot of goals with his left foot so he'll be a great player to put into your bpl squads and he's now finally usable thanks to that huge pace upgrade so guys this is the end of the video if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well as this loads of effort went into this video with all the graphics work so it'd be really appreciative if we can try and smash 50 likes i know i've never asked for that many likes before but it'll be really greatly appreciated if we can hit that and as well guys tell me in the comment section below if you agree or don't agree with these player ratings and put what ratings you think these players should have so anyway guys thanks for watching and see you next time bye